Paul Rajani. BBC Radio Leicester. But first, let me introduce you to my next guest, Anita uh, Anita Ramdari. She's a student, well, was a student. In fact, she graduated from uh, De Montfort University back in 2000, I understand, um, uh, with a degree in media studies. But she's gone on to produce a television online and television programme featuring Chiku, the Jack Russell. I'm hoping I've pronounced that right. Um... I can't believe this, Anita. Ch- Chiku Chug. It's Chico. Like, Chico, you know, like Chico. Chico. Time. Chico okay. Dog. Chico. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I'm no, a little bit concerned. No, but it's not Chico time. It's Chico Chug. He's, um, he's a little Jack Russell <laughs> yeah. that lives on a narrowboat on the Leicester line of the Grand, Canu- uh, Grand Canal. Yeah. Grand Union Canal, I should say. And he's real. He really does live on a boat. But um, his owner his mum if you like um depending how bonkers you are about dogs his owner uh, has written a series of of books and to cut a long story short after when i left the bbc a couple of years ago we bumped into each other and um and yeah i I really liked her books and i thought that would make an awesome children's program and we did it we made it and it's fab as you do yeah like i mean these things just (laughs) happen don't they Mm. So, so hang on so it's a real dog it's a real dog Chico is a real dog. Chico Chug, yeah, he is a real dog. Yeah. Okay, and then you just you you were a bit of a fan, and and you kind of just happened to bump into each other and thought, well, pretty I'll much. It this. just it's all about timing, isn't it? I just isn't finished. Just? I've been at the BBC for ten years, and I I accidentally fell into news and thought I'll do that for a year, and then I'll get back to children's programs, which is where I originally came from a long time ago. Um, it's a it's a great history that all started here in Leicester, of course. But yeah, I, I, it just was the right time. And I thought, wow, I've just finished at the BBC and this almost has presented itself. And it's such a great story. And it shows off this amazing canal system we've got right here with the countryside and just, well, not just the countryside, the city as well. The, just the canal systems are amazing. And I've always felt like they weren't shown shown off enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, recently, we've had all sorts of documentaries, haven't we? BBC Four and whatever. But... I just, yeah, there's such a great history and it is beautiful. So this works, I think, amazingly. So how, how do you go about creating a, a children's television character, even from a sort of a real, you know, a real dog? How do you turn that into a children's television programme? Well, way back when I was at De Montfort, I went on an exchange programme with one of their sister universities in America. And when I was there, I ended up doing like a little internship at Fox and got into TV and you know that was awesome get so, you I oh know I oh know <laughs> get me so then I moved back over to America after finishing at De Montfort um, because I'd kept relationships with those professors over there and um, and I started working on a program called Eat the Sky which I produced it was a children's program um, it was like Blue Peter meets Alf I think I'd, I'd kind of describe it a crazy alien thing that yeah anyway um, and we <laughs> We did this crazy thing. I was I was a presenter at that point and it was wonderful. But when my visa ran out and I came back, I really did just fall into the BBC in news, which wasn't where I wanted to be. And I really did think I'll do that for six months. And then I did it for 10 years uh, as a news reporter uh, on TV. But it was, and it was great, but I needed to get back. I really needed to get back to kids. So I had had the experience. And it, if it wasn't for De Montfort, I never, ever would have had that experience. I'm absolutely grateful. It really is an amazing university. But, yeah, this is mine, you know. And, and also, I'm not an animator. So there was no chance it was going to be an animated dog, which was initially, when you're thinking about filming animals and children, there are two children in this story. Yeah, you don't do it, do you? So, it's bonkers. Law. I mean, if you could see my face right now, uh, yeah, it's two no-nos. Yeah, animals and children, pretty much. Don't do it. Yeah, is yep. what they say. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, well, it's been a challenge. Let's just say a normal roll of film for a, a, a seven-minute program really should be between about thirty minutes and forty. Some of our roles ended up being, oh my god, um, two hours because you just can't make a dog do what it doesn't want to do. So you <laughs> take two, take three, take. <laughs> 29 take, yeah it was it was tough but actually i mean yes we th- what's happened as a result of it is there's a youtube version which is the english version but it has actually been picked up by s4c they're the public broadcasters in wales and so it will be on the bbc iplayer but in welsh 
Okay, oh, right. With so, possible for subtitles. Um, yeah, but yeah. if you want to watch it in English, it's it's on YouTube. I think that's where the. I mean, personally, I think the future of TV, especially having kids myself at that age, of that age, they want to watch what they want to watch right now and in succession they've got this obsession of watching episode after episode and you think oh my god aren't you bored yet but it's a different generation it's a different way of watching so actually we're quite excited to be on youtube and so what what's it like for your own children you know to be watching it what, yeah, what's well, it my, my, do you use them as a measure <laughs> i Colin? use them in the program <laughs> no my my little girl ellie oh bless her heart um she she's been awesome she's one of the she's actually the boy in the program because we shoot it all from the dog's perspective so you only really see her legs so she's the boy, and her best friend is the girl Elizabeth, <laughs> and and uh, yeah, it's it's a bit bonkers, but they kind of walk around, and we try and make the the children do and the dog do what we want, and it doesn't always work. To be fair, I'd say out of the twenty seven stories we've done for the first series, four of them were actually what we planned, yeah. and the rest of them we've just gone with the flow. <laughs> I mean, so, so apart from sort of you know bigging up Leicester's um, uh, canal system. And Chico himself. Oh yeah. What What about the storylines? What do you? I mean, how do you go about devising a story uh, th- that's based around a, a real life dog? The book The books are out there, and we we sort of tried to give nods to the book as far as storylines. I mean, the second book, um, Chico Chug the Hero, they have been out there for a fair few years. That's all set in Market Harborough, and it's it's absolutely brilliant. So we've nodded to like that book particularly. We've sort of said, oh, you know, in this one he kind of wrecks a cake. Let's wreck a cake you know so it hasn't been exactly we're just working with a real animal that's not fully trained <laughs> we haven't exactly followed the book but we have nodded to the book so we took quite a lot of storylines out of that and then went with the flow i mean the, the wonderful thing which i haven't mentioned yet is that janet roberts the author her husband mike roberts who is our musical director he was in a couple of 80s bands, uh, Midlands 80s bands. He was in Dex's Midnight Runners and he was in King. And his wow. music, in my opinion, is what makes this magic because he's got this way of writing tunes that get stuck in your head. Do you, yeah. do you know what I mean? Earworms, yeah. proper. Yeah. And um, the, the music, it's all about music. It's what, amazing. What, what sort of reaction have you had so far? We've got some real fans. There's two kind of crazy f- fans you get. People who have got dogs, Jack Russells especially, <laughs> and people who love the waterways. But we've also, we're getting these people going, oh my God, you know, we didn't even realise that you only have to go 10 minutes up the road and there's a canal. And actually, it's really beautiful. Um, so it's this whole new generation we're hoping to introduce to the waterways. And, and, you know, I mean, obviously, anyone that's got a dog can kind of go, oh, my dog's done that, you know, my dog's been naughty in that way or whatever. So, so we've got those fans as well. So, yeah, but who doesn't like watching a cute dog? Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> even if you, even if you're not a fan of a dog, it's quite funny. It, it is. They're funny. They're cute. They do daft things, exactly. and you can't help but smile exactly. at them. Exactly. Because you know, yeah. Uh, uh, my sister's got five, so five. you know. Oh my what can I say? Man. Can I come with you one of these days? You when should. You, you should come down. It's it's quite an adventure. And, and meet Chico <laughs> and and your your children and walk along these <laughs> and just watch a bit of the filming one of these you days. You should. That would be awesome. You're more than welcome. You <laughs> I are. look forward to it. <laughs> Look, Anita, how, so the best way to access the, the programmes that yeah. perhaps aren't in Welsh? No, exactly. Uh, so on YouTube, with, we're every week we're releasing one episode um, with uh, Tadar Kids, who are a company, a fabulous new company that have started on YouTube. And um, just go to, I'd just go to chicochug.com. Ch- yeah, and chug is with a double G. Because okay. that's uh, the chugging of a canal boat is with a, a double G. Yeah. So Chico Chug. <laughs> <laughs> teaching you loads, aren't I? Uh, ChicoChug.com. And yeah, the, the link's right there to the YouTube channel. Because you know how YouTube channels are impossible to reel out. Yep. So there's no point in me trying to go blah, 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 blah. Just do Chico Chug. Chico Chug. With a double G. Yeah, with a double G. Yeah, Anita, and, uh, Anita, do you want to announce the next song as well? Whilst you're what, at it? Look, look, just, look, just look at the screen there. You've got 33... Can you see it? Yeah, can is you it see? the one in yellow? Yeah, can you see? Look, I've just started, I've pressed it. What is it? What's the song what is it? called? Have I Told You Lately? Yeah. Is it? Oh, Have I Told You Lately by Van Morrison. Woo-hoo. Do you want to say thank you yeah. as well to yourself? Well, thank you, me, for uh, <laughs> being on the show uh, and la la la. I don't know. Oh, God, it's been ages since I've been on radio. How fun. <laughs> I'm not going to have a job left now, am I? (laughs)